Welcome to Automation Tutorials. Today we'll discuss about S7 1200 PLC, what are the different CPUs of this PLC and how to upload and download into this PLC using TIA portal version 16. So first discuss about what are the different CPUs. Uh, so this is how a CPU of S7 1200 PLC looks like. So here is the power connector uh, where we provide uh, 24 volt DC or 240 volt ac according to the cpu and uh, this is the memory card which is under the flap and on the topmost side uh, there are digital input connector uh, where we connect our digital inputs and some analog inputs as well these are the status leds the upper leds are of digital inputs and the bottom leds are of digital outputs and there is the digital output connector uh, which is at the very bottom side of this plc which is under the flap and uh, there is another profinet connector in the bottom left side of the plc there are other three leds as well which shows run stop error and maintenance mode of the plc we will discuss about uh, different uh, cpus of this s7 uh, 1200 plc there is a cpu 1211c dc 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 so we will we'll discuss about what is the meaning of dc 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 so this cpu is 1211c another is uh, 1212c other is 1214c next is 1215c and the last one is 1217c dc 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 uh, so we'll discuss uh, the cpu 1217c dc 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 so 1217 is most powerful cpu uh, among s7 1200 plc which has more work memory more system memory and uh, more load memory as well so c denotes for compact cpus that means it has inbuilt or we can say onboard digital inputs and digital outputs. And uh, there are three DC, DC, DC written on PLC. So we'll discuss what does this mean. So first DC means power supply. That means uh, we give 24 volt DC power to this PLC. And the second DC means digital inputs. We give 24 volt DC inputs. To this plc and uh, the third dc mean digital outputs that means this plc has a transistor type dc outputs so there are different types that is dc 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 and dc dc relay and ac dc relay so there are different modules in s7 1200 plc so we'll discuss one by one first is uh, the communication module second is the cpu and uh, third one is communication board signal board or battery board fourth one is the signal modules so we'll discuss about them one by one first is the communication module a communication module which is added to the left side of the plc so a cp uh, provides compatibility for other types of communication uh, it adds a communication port to the cpu so as uh, i previously said that this um, module provides you another communication port which is not available in the plc next is signal module now various signal modules which can be added to the right side of the plc signal modules can be of various type like digital inputs or outputs analog inputs or outputs rtd and thermocouple uh, which are the temperature sensors and uh, another is sm1278 io link master so other than communication module or signal module this s7 1200 plc has another functionality which is esd that is electric sensitive discharge so we can add a board in the middle of the plc this board can be of various types uh, it can be a signal board uh, which can add uh, multiple inputs or outputs to the plc it can be of communication board which can add another communication port to the plc and it can be of battery board which provide a uh, backup for the plc for its uh, runtime clock which is rtc so let's start a uh, configuration of s7 1200 with tia portal version 16. firstly open tia portal i have version 16 so our tia portal has been opened uh, this is the portal view of tia portal so we can uh, uh, open any project uh, which have been created before and uh, which which will be showed here and uh, we have to create a new project and so click uh, on the create new project so we can name uh, the project like uh, s7 1200 
download upload so just create the project it will take some time so our project has been created so we have to first configure the device which we want to uh, communicate or download or take upload from so uh, we have to click on configure a device just click on it click on add new device so the taa portal shows number of controllers hmie pc systems or many other devices which have been installed in this portal so uh, we want to configure an s7 1200 plc so just uh, expand it so expand the cpu we have a cpu which is a 1214c dc 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 and we also have multiple controllers in this series so we have to check uh, the catalog number of the plc which is written at the right face of the plc so i have this one ag40 so from here you can select a version so uh, v4.4 is the latest version and uh, there is the description of the plc that it has uh, 100 kb work memory and uh, supplies 24 volt dc and many other things which has 24 digital inputs and uh, 10 digital outputs of 24 vdc right so we just have to click on add new device this new screen will appear uh, on the portal which we call project view so you can switch between the, these two views from left bottom side so click on uh, portal view this screen will appear and if you want to go to the project then click on project view so this project will be opened here so as you can see this plc s7 1200 has been added so you can zoom it like this there are 14 digital inputs and 10 digital outputs uh, in the plc so as i previously said we can add the communication modules in the left side we can add eight signal modules and three communication modules and one ESD board to the PLC. So if you want to add any module uh, to this PLC, like you have a, a digital input module, uh, so you, you can add uh, it from this catalog, uh, which is shown the very right side uh, of the screen. Uh, so click on the DI and which module do you have? 18 inputs, 16 inputs. So for example, I have 18, 8 inputs and then select the catalog number or we can say MLFB number and uh, just drag and drop it here like this. So your module will be added, right? So right now I do not have any of this. So just I will delete it. Okay, fine. So this is how we done the hardware configuration of the PLC. So there is another thing that we have to configure, which is the ethernet address. So just click on the ethernet module and open the properties from the very bottom side so there is an option which is ethernet addresses so by default ip 192.168.0.1 has been configured uh, ip of my laptop uh, should be in this uh, subnet first we will download the hardware configuration to the plc so we will click on the download here and uh, this dialog box will appear we have to connect the computer system or a laptop with the plc via an ethernet cable right and after connecting just click on start search So a PLC will be shown here. Uh, the IP address of this PLC is 192.168.0.1 and uh, the name of this PLC is PLC underscore one. So if no PLC appear here, just open the control panel.
and uh, click on the large icons and after that click on set pgpg interface so to connect a plc of siemens brand we have to do some settings in the control panel so in this we have to select this option in which tcp ip auto dot one has been shown so this driver can be different in the different laptop but we have to make sure that tcp ip dot auto should be selected and after selecting this just click on the drop down menu and just click s7 online right so click on ok if your plc is not showing in the taa portal after doing this setting your plc will be shown so just again open the uh, taa portal just click on the plc and click on load again click on the load button so now the configuration is being downloaded to the plc and uh, after the downloading has been completed so this dialog box will appear in which we have to select start module okay just click on the start module and finish your plc will start like this so it will come to the run mode from stop mode the left side is the project view so just open the program blocks and uh, double click on main ob so this ob which is organization block or which is a programming block uh, will shown like this so this program is empty so we will make a program a very basic program all the instruction that we need to make a program are shown the very right side in the instruction tree so just open the bit logics here uh, so we will add uh, an no and an nc here and we will add a coil like this you can just and uh, drag and drop here or you can just select the position and double click on the instruction it will be added automatically right so we will add two inputs here so in in this plc if we have to add my first input i have to write i 0.0 like this just press enter so this first input will be added and uh, another is i0.1 and uh, so i will add a q0.0 you can just uh, rename uh, the inputs or the tag for that uh, just right click on it and click on the rename tag so i will write like this start button and uh, for this i will write stop button uh, so this can be my uh, anything like motor underscore one so i will download it again to the plc And just click on the load so P so plc will not go to the stop mode this time because we are downloading just the program not the hardware configuration okay fine so you can just start monitoring we can start monitoring from here click on this icon so this portal will start monitoring your plc or the logic so if i turn input number one on so my output q0.0 is on here and uh, if i turn on i0.1 so my output will be off 
so because this input is blocking the signal so if i just turn off i0.0 .0, my output will again off this is how the monitoring is done so if i turn on i0.0 .0, the signal will be green and uh, if i turn on i0.1 this signal will be off because it is the check for zero and this is check for one and no and nc so this is how we download the project into the plc so our next task is how to take upload from the plc so i am just uh, deleting this uh, plc from my project or you can just uh, press the delete button or right click and uh, press on delete okay to take upload from the plc you just have to make sure that you have uh, created a pro project so just click on the project and click on online here in the menu bar and just click on this option upload device as new station hardware and software so like downloading to the plc you can just click on start search select the plc and take upload from it so this will take some time a plc has been added in the project named plc underscore one and cpu is one to one four c right if you can just go to the program block and open main ob so this same program will be shown which we have created just a minute ago so this is how we done uploading and downloading to the plc so we will discuss more topics uh, on a7 uh, 1200 and taa portal in my next videos till then stay tuned